we're down to the final four on Survivor Exile Island on last night's episode. Terry won his fifth straight immunity challenge, leaving Shane, the man viewers love to hate, I see, I don't know, holding the torch. Shane thinks I'm his puppy dog. He thinks he can tell me to do this, and I'll do it, because up until this point, I have, which really makes it easy for me to do things pretty inconspicuously. I love Aris, but I'm going to do everything, everything. <laughs> that I can do to get myself further in the game. I feel like at this point, I could beat anybody. Shane, the look on your face last night was absolutely priceless. You had no idea. I had no idea. I mean, I, I had, I, I knew, I know the game, and I know that there was a possibility, but mm -hmm. I had made my bed. I yeah. had boxed myself in with Aris and yeah. Sari, obviously. Right. And I thought that I thought that we'd we'd hold firm. <laughs> <laughs> Who me? Are you kidding me? Wow, Sari's really pulling some strings out there. It's been amazing for me to watch Cerie's journey on yeah. the show because when she got there, she had no chance of winning. And, it, and it, she, it actually exuded out of her. Yeah. And she laid low. She worked hard. Aris and I sort of looked out for her. And a couple weeks ago, you could really tell she something switched in her. And she was like, I can win this. Yeah. And it's been really amazing to watch her journey, for yeah. sure. Yeah, really phenomenal. Because you know what? I'm going back to last week. You were surprised last week, too. I was surprised because Danielle was supposed to go, yeah. and then there I was. I mean, Danielle's a, always supposed to go, and she's always still standing there. There was a there was a bit of a flip flop. I had created sort of a house away from everyone else called yeah. the, called the summer house up on the ridge that no one was allowed to go to. Did and it that's, have your Did it have your make believe blackberry though? It had it had everything up there, and no one was allowed <laughs> to go up there actually. And so I came down late and was left out of the loop, which ah. I think was better for, for them because I was not really around yeah. that last five days too yeah. much. One of the great moments maybe in the history of Survivor is the uh, 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 challenge last night when you got the one oh, the yeah. opportunity to spend time with your son. And you know what? I'm gonna, we have a secret scene that was not okay. on the show last night. I'm going to go ahead and show that now because right. it's you and your son. It's, it's beautiful. It's it beautiful is. to watch. Let's take a look. Watching the sun come up this morning, drinking my espresso, but then knowing my son was near and ready to wake up, you know what I mean, and come to me, was unbelievable. It was like I wouldn't want to have been anywhere else on the planet at all. I wanted to be right there. I'm so proud of you. I'm not trying so hard. The biggest flaw that, my, that would go wrong is that he has an alliance with three other people, and if they turn on him, he's, he's gone. <laughs> son was prophetic. What a thing, you know, to have your son's name tattooed on your chest to watch you through this whole thing. And it was the only thing other than cigarettes, it seemed to me, that you really yearned for, that you really missed. What did it mean <coughs> to you last <clears throat> night to be able to have that reunion when you were out there on that? Island? Well, you know, going through the depletion and having the 30 days of, of whatever and then just feeling so wrecked and then having him show up and having actually get to be with him was sort of an experience that I would not have had on any other terms, yeah. on any other level. So the love that I felt yeah. and the, the togetherness we had was, was really amazing. Yeah. Is it, now that you're back home and life is sort of back to normal, have the dynamics of your late relationship changed or you just value him that much more? I think that you, get, you gain an amazing amount of perspective from being on the show. It's like, you know, you're, you're civilized and then they turn you into a caveman and you learn how to deal with all of that, and then you really, everything that's important yeah. is just right there in front of you. Interesting. And it's just reinforced the way that, you know, that me and, and the one thing I do want to say is that, you know, me and Boston have this amazing relationship, but if it wasn't for his mother, yeah. Bird, uh, allowing us to play, yeah. um, she's been the real cornerstone of, of both of our relationships, mm -hmm. and I can't mm -hmm. thank uh, God enough for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, going back to the beginning of the show, you were flipped out from the second you got there. Yeah. How many how many packs of cigarettes do you smoke I smoked, a day? I smoke three packs of cigarettes a day. And, and so you go cold turkey. You're out there on this show, and the people are literally begging you to stay. And I I don't remember ever seeing that in a show where somebody who wanted to leave they were actually begging you to stay. I thought that was so counterintuitive, but you ended up being such a great <clears> asset. 
Well, I think that when we first got on that island, it was the four of us, and we connected immediately. They yeah. were very, they wanted me to stay badly because we had had a safe, right. the four of us were going to stay safe, sure. at least all the way up until the merge. So yeah. for them, it was very important that I stayed, and I was schizophrenic at that point. I had not had a cigarette in six days, no water. <laughs> the one thing you need to come off cigarettes is water, right. and I was literally going out of my mind. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? I, for us as an audience sure. and as uh, fans of Survivor, we really love watching you go crazy. I'm sure you did. <laughs> Every single second of it, man. I'm sure you did. You got any cigarettes in there, man? I have plenty of cigarettes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Would you like one now? No, no, we gotta go. Thanks, buddy. Pleasure. Great to be with you. All right, thanks so much.